Welcome, I'll be reacting to Lady Hawk for the first time. I know nothing about this movie other than the fact people kept recommending it in the comments. This is not a market substitute, please support the original. This looks like the Middle Ages? Are they trying to escape a prison or something? Okay, he's clearly day drinking. <laughs> I don't know who this guy is, but hats off to you, sir. Two more. They're in red. They must be the bad guys. I want Philippe Gaston, the one they call the mouse. The mouse? He's especially good at quick escapes. Gaston. I've seen him in something. He was in the redo of The Music Man. Oh, yuck. Can you imagine the sewers in the Middle Ages? Gah. And that thing coming at me won't be what I think it is. If it is, there's no hard feelings, of course. But I'd be very disappointed. <laughs> I like the way he prays. Oh, look at that sword. Two-hander. And that horse is gorgeous. Of course, yes, there's the hawk, but seriously, look at that sword. Uh oh. Oh, it's Day Drinker. Ow. He is not having much luck, is he? Oh, there's a hole. This is a great intro. I don't know who anyone is or what's going on, but it's really engaging. The responsibility is mine. Yes. Shouldn't have had that mead. It would be a miracle. The horses in this are spectacular so far. Look at that. I'm kind of digging the music in this. It's really energetic and fun, even though it's modern. Reminds me of Knight's Tale. They're just on break. <laughs> Music Man is a good thief. So we have the rogue of the party, and potentially the ranger that we saw earlier. Where the hell am I? I don't know. Don't look at me. Yeah! Who is this? I love the sunrise sunset lighting theme going on. You don't see that very often in movies. Oh, that horse is so beautiful. Oh, it's outdoor dining. They're COVID compliant. We drink to a special man, my friend. Someone who has been inside the dungeons of Aquila and lived to tell the tale. Uh, don't tell everyone. I didn't say I was a prisoner. Great. See, this is why you don't randomly tell people in a tavern. If you'd stuck to the woods. These stories. Where's the ranger? He's doing really well on his dex rolls right now. And acrobatics. Respect. Oh, there we go. I like his pauldron. Captain Navarre. Francesco. Captain. Hey. He's gonna jump it. That horse is amazing. Oh, oh, look at that dressage. Oh, what is this horse's name? I'm like in love with this horse. I don't even care what's going on right now. <laughs> That's his old helm, I gather. Oh, that's a lady's favor. Who is she? His name is Goliath. Goliath. Listen. Pretty name. Go with him, boy. He didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Come on now. Never ending story. Take notes from this. This is how you make someone love a horse. Wait, wait. 
In mythology, sometimes beautiful women are cursed to turn into birds during the day and they turn back to their true form at night. And it is called Lady Hawk. What if his bird is actually the woman who gave him that favor? And we're about to see her. Feed the animals, gather the wood. Oh, welcome to being a squire. Look at me, Lord. Uh oh. Climb a tree. that's the captain right because when she turns back into a human the man would turn into an animal so i think that's the captain the the black wolf thing that way they would never see each other they did this on an episode of charmed i think don't shoot the wolf it's the captain and the captain was trying to protect you yes i think i was right that's the hawk, right? Maybe I'm awake, dreaming I'm asleep. Or... I like how he does his own commentary. Yeah. It's them, and they can never meet each other. It's gotta be one of the most tragic love story mythology. So I gather the point of this film is he's going to break the curse somehow. I've waited a long time for such a lady. I wonder if the hawk can understand him. I wonder if this is a set or an actual location that they found. It looks like a location. This reminds me a little bit of some of the Crusaders' castles and how they were laid out. They bring you specifically to locations where it would be really easy to take intruders out. And then they'd bring you through another equally narrow gate like this one. And then usually you'd end up in this maze of very, very narrow corridors. And so it would split the group and make it really easy to take them out. And of course, the downfall of those castles was lack of water. So this extremely elaborate system of gatekeeping and tunnels and archways like this. And all they ended up having to do was cut the water off. Didn't think that one through. Yeah, see this area right here? It narrows down how many people can get through at the same time, and there's plenty of little murder holes up there where you can drop things, hot oil, etc. He's also going uphill. That was, that's what makes me think this actually is a crusader castle they're filming in, maybe? Is he the one who cursed them? Your grace. Must be a hawk. A he knows her? Hawk. He's in love with her. And when she rejected him, he cursed them both. That's my guess. <coughs> Don't use the sword to chop wood. Oh, it's like using sewing scissors to cut paper. You need to stop doing that. You're going to get into so much trouble. If I saw someone using my sword like that, oh, they, they would not. Yeah. I no. This sword has been in my family for five generations. It has never known defeat until now. If this whole movie was just a shot of Goliath, I'd be completely content. Okay, that sound effect is starting to bother me. In a lot of movies, they have this metal on metal effect when they're drawing their sword out of the scabbard. All the swords I've had used wood scabbards or wool-lined scabbards. So when you drew your sword, it sounded more like at the very end when it hits the metal. It usually has a metal guard right here at the top of the scabbard. So it always confuses me when every time they draw a sword, it's metal on metal. I mean, I think they had some scabbards that were that way, but it's gotta be bad for your sword sticking into metal every time. <gasps> that they were told not to hurt the hawk. 
Is she gonna be okay? Sir, I don't think you understand Get that. on my horse. You're the only one who can ride him. Goliath, you gotta get them there safely. The poor kid is probably just like, but it's a hawk. Not knowing it's not actually a hawk. We must wait a little. It'll be easier to deal with when she's human. I can't kill every wolf that lives. Since the plague, there are more wolves than men. But you want a black wolf. You could at least narrow it down and be more specific. A black wolf. See, if you had told him that earlier, it could have saved a lot of trouble. I'm just saying. As I recall in the original myth, at least one of the versions, a tree had to fall and kill the bird, right? No, that was the one where he was a tree and she was a bird and the tree had to fall and kill the bird. I get the feeling one of them has to die, at least temporarily, or they have to die in a specific way. Hey! I am a monk, not an architect! <laughs> I'm a monk, not an architect. No, I'm a doctor, not a mechanic. <laughs> I like how he just booby-trapped the whole castle. Home alone, medieval style. But three days hence, in Aquila, there will be a day without a night. And a night without a day. Ah. An eclipse? <laughs> I would do the same thing if I were her, though. I'd want to know that he's okay. <laughs> Sweet. <gasps> She's doing it right because you want to get flat on the ice. And the wolf doesn't really fully understand what's going on either. Doesn't know that they're trying to help. I love that she gave him her knife. Yeah, just stab him in the foot. <laughs> yeah, quick grab a robe. Although you smell probably really bad. But then again, everyone smelled bad then. So probably no one would even notice. Beg you, take her life. Quick, painless. The cruelty would be to damn her to a half-life, and that is not what she wants. How about ask her first? I take it back, he's he's a paladin. A hundred percent. Do not hurt that horse. Look at that. Oh. Mm. I got to see the Lipizzaners, the touring group that is, in person a couple of times as a kid, and it was the most amazing thing ever. I highly recommend it if you're ever able to go and see one of those shows. Everyone's like, this is the most exciting mass I've ever been to. Oh no, he's gonna ring the bell. Oh no. You know that's not the right thing to do. That's a really weird slow-mo effect. I think the frame rate was off. See, if I saw him for the first time in a long time, I would be running and like headlong into him. And she's just mincing forward. <laughs> I do not understand. I get it, it's more melodramatic, but really? He's gonna kill her or try. Looks like they just had to kill him when they were both human. <laughs> You're just gonna leave the sword? What about your sword? We never got to see what new jewel he put in it. Why would they set that up and then nothing happens? This reminded me of the 1950s classic knights, medieval tales that are super corny and just amazing. Really sweet storyline. As I mentioned, it's a famous fairy tale, has many variations. I think there was one where he was a bluebird and I forget what she was, and there's, there's so many versions. I like that they made the main protagonist 
not be one of the lovers because they could have told it from the perspective of one of the main two but instead they brought in the feisty rogue who helps them and made him the focal point and I think that was a really good decision. He was hilarious and he kind of stood in for the viewer as he's finding things out. The music was so fun and epic. I adored it and the sets and the costumes were basically just enough to kind of give a feel for the setting and they weren't distracting. They weren't brilliant but I wasn't sitting there going, oh, that's terrible, you know? So it really just became part of the world. I wanna look up what castle they filmed in because it feels like it's a real one. It was shot in Italy. Very cool. La Rocca si for Forgesca? Built in the 10th century. So it was rebuilt in the 13th century. And in the 15th century, they added new walls. So this does correspond to the Crusader era castle building techniques. Probably the same sort of architects were designing them. I love castles, so sorry about the rabbit trail there. This film was super cheesy, super romantic. I loved it. Thank you to everyone who recommended this. I really enjoyed it. And I wish they had more films like this. So if you know of any, post in the comments.